Hello, welcome to Pyrex Screencast. In this screencast we'll go over some of the new features available in the latest version of Pyrex 0.9.7. Here I'll select the open bubble widget and you'll see that there are three new columns available called log P, number of hydrogen bond donors and number of hydrogen bond acceptors. I'll load one of the SDA files that I've downloaded from PubChem. Here you'll see that there is a new Lipinski rule of files available here. And when I select that, you'll see that uh, Pyrex selected 21 out of 22 compounds here that satisfy Lipinski rule of fives. You can go here and select customize and see this widget here. I'll click edit to see what are included with Lipinski rule of fives. Here you can see that the molecular weight of the compound needs to be equal or less than 500 Daltons. The log P needs to be less than or equal to 5. Number of hydrogen bond donors need to be less than 5 or equal 5. Number of hydrogen bond acceptor needs to be less than equal 10. I'll go here and go back to no filter so that we'll get all the 22 compounds here. You can cl click on the headings here to sort them descending or ascending order. Here I can see that one of these compounds have log P that is greater than 5. That's why it wasn't included here. In general, I would I would keep this compound here because uh, the uh, we have small libraries and we can afford to screen all of them. If you have a larger number of li uh, libraries and you want to select only subset of the compounds that satisfy Lipinski rule of fives, now you can do that in Pyrex. Yeah, let's move to uh, some of the new features in this version. Here I will load one of the compounds from PDB called 2GDZ and there is this new icon here called toggle balloon widget if you toggle that you uh, you are able to see the this balloon widget that shows the name of the macromolecule or the molecule when you are uh, hovering your mouse over this uh, structure in this case, since we have only one structure, it's not that useful, but if we have a very large number of ligands or molecules and we want to see which one is which, uh, we toggle this one. And it takes some time to compute where the mass is and what the ligand is or macromolecule is under this mass. So it's uh, it's it takes some uh, some times to do that. That's why I usually work with this one unselected. So new in this version, if we go to edit preferences for autodoc preferences, you'll see this max runtime number here, and this is thanks to one of the users who was running virtual screening, and it would take large number of time for certain ligands to dock. And the reason was they there were too many atoms in the ligands, so he wanted to skip all the ligands that would take more than a certain amount of time to run. So this is a nice preference here to have, and if your protein ligand dogging takes more than this amount of time in minutes to run, Pyrex will terminate that job and move to the next ligand. Also new here is under Autodoc there is receptor uh, preparation preferences and this was the default that was used when making PDBQT files and many users wanted to keep the water molecules when making PDBQT files so now you can come here and uncheck this and click OK and then when you make a, a PDBQT file for macromolecules it will keep the water molecules there so here if I go for this particular macromolecule, if I right click, go to Autodoc, make macromolecule, this one has uh, a number of residues that have alternate conformation, that's why uh, Pyrex comes up with this widget, and this will let you select which conformation among well, many possible alternate conformations you want to keep.
So here, for instance, for this ICLS in 61, let's go and see how we can visualize it. So this is the ICLS in 61, and in order to find this compound here, I would click on this toggle selection sphere and you can see that this compound is selected here so we can identify this but it was hard to see the, this alternate conformation in this way here so now you can go and right click and display ball and stick for individual residues I'll go and uncheck this to toggle selection sphere so now you can see here this this uh, residue has two carbons that can have alternate conformations here so this way you uh, I can visualize this alternate conformations here now if I go back to making macromolecule for this uh, for this receptor I can now click generate all and what this will do, it will go through all the possible number of alternate conformation and generate PDB QT file for each possible alternate conformation. Here you'll see that Pyrex named them according to the uh, molecule name, then underscore residue number, then underscore alternate conformation name, and then underscore the same thing for the rest of the residues that have alternate conformations. And new also in this version, there is under edit preferences, under autodoc, there is inverse virtual screening option. And what this allows to do is to load maximum number of macromolecules when you run virtual screening with Winner. If you load too many macromolecules and you don't have available physical memory, Pyrex will uh, run out of memory. So this is lets you select number of macromolecules you load. So he, uh, the default is 100. Uh, you can change this to any number you want. So I'll, here I'll select 10 just to show how this works. So now if I go to uh, Winner Wizard and then start this, I can select one of the ligands from my ligand list and then I can select first uh, receptor scroll down to the last one you shift and select the last one and Pyrex will select all the possible confirmation with alternate structures and then you can run this particular ligand against all possible confirmations and when you click forward it will load maximum number of macromolecules specified in the preferences and then skip the rest yeah, if we go back here, you'll see that it loaded only 10 macromolecules and it will use the bounding box for the last one to go and use that for virtual screening for the rest of the macromolecules. This is just a nice way to limit the amount of memory it uses when working, running virtual screening with large number of uh, molecules. Also new in this release we have now 60-bit version for Windows. We had the 60-bit version for Linux and Mac, but like uh, when working with on on Windows and running inverse virtual screening and using too many macromolecules, it would run out of memory very quickly. So now with this 64-bit version, you're limited only by the amount of uh, RAM available on your workstations. This is it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like all these new features available in this latest version of Pyrex. Thank you. Bye.